Protests against racism in the U.S. and Europe have led to the toppling of statues that appear to glorify slave owners. In West Africa, relics from that era are being restored to shine the spotlight on the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade. The city of Ouida in Benin was one of the major slave ports, but is now aiming to be a key source of education on this brutal past. The door of no return. Men, women and children were taken against their will and shipped from here across the Atlantic in abominable conditions. The monument was built in the 1990s in a UNESCO-sponsored project. It's now been newly restored. The same applies to a three-kilometre-long path dubbed the Slave Route, from the centre of Ouida, where the slaves were sold, to the beach. The route is lined with a frieze, testifying to the suffering of the prisoners. It was actually powerful local chiefs who captured people, usually from rival tribes, and sold them to French, Portuguese and British merchants. A complex legacy. Ouida is the most marked city in the history of slavery. That's why, beyond the movements claiming the cause of black people, we want the sites that have been involved in history to be restored so that the history doesn't die. Ouida is also building a museum dedicated to the slave trade. Overall, some 12 and a half million Africans were forced onto ships like this one between the 17th and 19th centuries. Conditions on board were so bad that nearly two million didn't even survive the crossing. This emotion that I have every time I see those chains that we use to shackle the slaves, our grandparents, our ancestors, who were deported by the colonizers, it's like I feel sick. Every time I relive things that I don't want to relive. It's painful, but it's our story and we have to accept it. We're not usually taught these things at school or in everyday life. I think that if it continues like this, we'll be able to properly represent our country, and we need to do that. The slaves from Benin were taken to Brazil, Haiti and the United States where they were forced to work on the plantations. The former colonial powers have never been brought to account for their actions. But the town of Ouida, at least, wants to ensure they're not forgotten.